<laughs> that was that, Moffat done that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of my he said he claimed he lost 100 pounds. I don't know about uh, that. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'd like to welcome everyone to uh, Tenant Truck Lines. My name is Danny McDaniel, Mayor of the City of Kelowna. This is the first time in 39 years I've been in politics that I've been able to introduce our honorable uh, governor of the state of Illinois, uh, Pat Gwynn. I'd like to introduce him to you now, Pat. All right, thank you, Mayor. Thanks for coming. Very good. Well, I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm very glad to be here. I wanted to come because yesterday we gave a speech about the importance of Illinois having jobs. And right here we're in a place in Western Illinois that's creating jobs and has been doing that since 1946. Uh, Sydney Tennant started this company, a family company, uh, way back in 1946 after World War II. And it's uh, now the second, well, third generation of uh, tenants who are running the company. and. Trucking is very, very important to our state and to our nation. We've got to get goods and services uh, across the country and delivered, and we need to make sure we have a good trucking system and a good transportation system. And one of the things we've really tried to invest in in Illinois is our transportation. We know that our location is really, really a good one uh, for delivering uh, goods across the heartland of our country, but we've got to invest in our highways, maintain our bridges, we've got to have a good system. And I do want to thank my good friend Don Moffat, who is with us here today. State Representative Moffat has uh, been a good supporter of ours when it's come to uh, getting the funds necessary for transportation in Illinois. As you know, he comes from Galesburg, not too far from here, and uh, we were able to work together on getting the resources for a grade separation in uh, Galesburg, which is part of better transportation, and uh, we were able to put a bridge together, a uh, bridge that makes sure that in the town of Galesburg, that if there's emergency vehicles, they can go across that bridge and not have to wait for the train. A very, very important reform that we were able to get done for our emergency workers and those who are on, on, job, on the job for us all the time. And uh, of course, they named the bridge Don Moffat Bridge. And I'm very happy to say that, because uh, as we heard, John, Don has lost a pound or two. It's an inspiration to all of us. And I, I met Don when he was first mayor of uh, Oneida in 1973. So we're now celebrating our 40th anniversary <laughs> of knowing people uh, like Don. And whether you live in Western Illinois or right anywhere in our state, it's important to understand that we're all in this together. The best way to fight poverty, the best way to fight crime, the best way to keep families together is a J-O-B. And that's exactly what this family firm has done for years and years. The tenant, uh, the tenant family has been running the company, uh, growing along the way. And, it's, and I want to thank also the, the uh, company because I uh, was just reading last December, we have a program in our country called Wheat Wreaths Across America, where we lay wreaths at the graves of our service members, our veterans, whether it's Arlington National Cemetery or cemetery here in the Quad Cities. Uh, and it's important we never forget. Uh, when I spoke yesterday, at the very end of the State of the State Address, I spoke about a young man that I knew very well, uh, Sergeant Tyler Ziggle from Metamore, Illinois, not too far from here, down near Peoria. Uh, Ty, a United States Marine, Semper Fi, uh, was uh, deployed twice to Iraq, gave his uh, uh, all in that uh, assignment. When he came home, he had very, very serious and, and disfiguring injuries. He was in Brook Army Medical Center uh, for a year and a half. He had 59 different surgeries. I met him at the uh, airport in uh, Peoria when he came home for the first time. He died last December in an accident. And I said that if all of us had the courage of uh, Sergeant Ziggle, uh, we could get a lot of problems solved in our state of Illinois. We've got to have courage. We've got to have courage to come together and address all the challenges we have, and that includes the pension challenge. But we also have to have courage to stand together in the best traditions of Western Illinois, where we work together for the common good. And, a, and the common good means jobs. And if we help folks get jobs, I think we're going a long way to making a better society. So I did want to come today. I never knew I would be able to stand in the, on this truck, uh, but we believe in trucking. 
in Illinois. And if we do it together, we'll get a lot pretty far and get to our destination. And let's, uh, I know Aaron couldn't make it today, but just reading the history of tenant truck lines, it's an inspirational story about a company that really cares about people, cares about our veterans, as I mentioned. You know, I wanted to come here today and say thank you to Tenant for creating jobs and helping Illinois and helping everyday people. So thank you very much. All right, thanks. All right, man. Thanks, Governor.